essentially decision to come to go to Oasis of Hope was was our last hope and so we that was the last option we had and the, so we started going there and um, we weren't too sure about this place so we were very hesitant and uh, very anxious and, uh, we weren't sure what to expect but we heard a lot of good things from friends and families from our church and um, our neighbors and longtime friends that we had for many years that um that there's something different about Oasis and that's um, that's when things started to turn around. I mean, I'm feeling great right now. I'm, you know, I, I feel like I have my strength back. I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting back into back into my uh, my routine in life and back to where I want to go and back to back to college and back to uh, going back to learning and, uh, and um, I, I'm you know I'm, I, mean, I want to. I want to do big things. I mean, I want to. I want to use this experience that I had, and uh, I want to take it somewhere. I mean, I, I have very high expectations for my life, and you know, this past year, um, I believe it, it gave me something to work with, with, with my, for my future. Because uh, my life was this whole experience was a miracle. Because from the very beginning, there was no hope. And now I'm ready to go back to school. I'm ready to take back my life. I'm ready to to um, do more things than I ever expected. The process just started uh, just getting worse. Uh, my symptoms weren't improving. Um, I wasn't in tolerating the chemo as much as I should have, and my my counts continued to drop. So we came to a point after about a few months of this. Uh, after the radiation and the chemotherapy, um, I wasn't able to get chemotherapy anymore, and, so, and that's that's where we came to a point where we uh, had to decide what we were going to do, because my case from the very beginning wasn't wasn't a, it wasn't very hopeful. There wasn't a lot of hope in the beginning. We started the whole treatment there, and uh, I just completely turned around. It was it was a complete differences, nothing we expected, and, uh, and uh, from that point on till February, this past February, I was uh, found to, um, they did a MRI and a spinal tap and a bone marrow biopsy, all concluded uh, that the leukemia was gone. At Oasis, I never had a symptom, I, I never had any pain. And it was just uh, 100 complete difference. I can't say enough how how, um, how glad we, I was to be there, and, and how different the environment and experience. never lose hope. There's there's always hope for everybody when we put our trust um, in the God that we uh, we know who is able to do all things. Um, that's where it's all. That's where it all starts. And, when you build on that, build on that, you, you you start to have faith and you start to believe that you can win no matter what. Take back your life, take back everything um, that you see yourself doing 10, 20 years from now, and uh, and know that you won't use whatever difficulty you overcome. That you'll use it, and you will help others along the way. You'll help others who are still battling situations. And, uh, no matter what they're going through, that because of you, because of what you went through, you know you can take that and you can use it for good. No matter how horrible, how hopeless, uh, how lost you think your situation is, there is always hope.